What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back. How we doing today, guys? We got another video for you today. And this one's just going to be like a market talk, pretty much how to make stubs, all that good stuff. But you know what to do. Guys, actually, no. Before I say anything, we hit 50 likes again yesterday. Guys, another giveaway winner. It is Will Miller. Hit up my DMs. That is crazy, guys. The support has been unreal. Yo, let's get this one to 60 likes. I believe in my supporters. I'll give away another 10K, maybe 15K. But 10 to 15K I'll give away. Hit me up in my DMs if you win. Let's let's get to 60 likes. But, guys, this is going to be another video. Just got to like and comment. Uh, drop 10K in the comments. Like the video. Let's get 60 likes. Sub if you are new. You know what? It'll be an awesome vid. We'll get 10, someone will get 10K. It'll be lit. So, guys, I just want to talk about the auction. And like how to make stubs right now, what to do. So pretty much what I'm noticing is, so I predicted the market to crash and it did not crash. And one of my subs told me this. He said last year when a stub sale drops, all the diamonds go up in value and that's exactly what happened. So the stub sale kind of destroyed everything, which was annoying, but I still made stubs off of it. And I'm going to show you, actually no, I'm not going to show you what I did, but this is what I'm thinking. So to make stubs right now is simply buying golds, silvers, and bronzes. That's all I can really say. Buying diamonds right now is probably the worst move I could ever possibly say because diamonds went up like literally double the amount. So last week I brought Yelich for 45k. I'm selling him right now for 78k. I mean 70,899 stubs. I'm gonna make over 20. I'm gonna make 20k off Yelich. So. What I'm going to just say to do is, if you guys have any diamonds right now, I would just go ahead and sell them. Just because, if you look at their prices, like, it's just not normal. I've never seen the diamonds. I, it, just look at all the prices, and it's insane how much, how expensive the diamonds are. Like, Verlander 87 is 20k. Kershaw went up 3k. Machado went up to 63k. This is unbelievable. Let's see, I don't even know when the stub sale ends, but when the stub sale ends, there should be a mini market crash and everything should go back down. But when does it end? In May 20th? What day is today? So it ends tomorrow morning. So you're going to see a lot of prices probably drop because so many kids have stubs right now. There's kids who bought like 150 bucks worth of stubs and you still, you get 300k stubs for that. So Yeah. Yo, so ready? Vladimir Guerrero Jr. was literally 188k yesterday. He's at the 134. You're gonna see everybody dropping slowly and slowly and slowly because not a lot of people are buying stubs. More people bought stubs towards like the beginning when it first came out. Right now, I'm getting closer and closer to Ricky Henderson or Alomar. To be honest, I want Alomar more just because I played a game with him and he was unbelievable. And I played Ricky Henderson 87 and he's just not good. But let me, I didn't play good with him at least. I'm not saying he's not good. You shouldn't take him, but whatever. So what I did, okay. Chris Bryant was at 18K on the day the stub sale came out Friday. I bought three of them at 18K. He hit three home runs. And I made 10K off each of them. I sold three of them. It was unbelievable. Look at this. 27K, 27K. I made 27K clean off three of them, bro. It was wild, but... Guys, so right now, what I'm recommending you do, let's go over to the golds. This is pretty much the best time to invest, okay? So right now, Okuna went up a lot too. Okuna's at 6k. I bought Mads them for 4k. Let's see. What, what's going on with the auction? Your boy Bugs going to give an overview of the auction block. So, Trevor Story, okay? Trevor Story is 2,700 stubs. His price didn't really move that much, which is good. It's going to go up a little bit. Zach Granke's up in price. All these guys that upgraded are up in price. What you should do right now. Okay, Trevor Bauer, I have 20 of them. For 1,300 stubs, I don't think you can go wrong. He's never going to get downgrade. He just had a rough start, so everyone thinks he's going to go down. He's not going to go down. I would go pick up as many Trevor Bowers as possible, in my opinion. I really, really think he's going to go diamond. Black Guerrero Jr. is at 5K. He's not staying at this price. Don't buy. If you have them, just sell them. I, that's, what I, that's what I'm recommending. Whit Merrifield, okay, is still one of the top players in baseball. I don't know how he didn't get upgraded. He's still an 82. I have 14 of them. He's literally been playing amazing. This is the best time to invest. <clears throat> best time to make stubs. Investing in cards right now. Honestly, the freaking auction screwed up. If you have any diamonds, sell them. So pretty much what I'm going to tell you to do right now 
is if you have diamonds once again you have to sell your diamonds everybody is too expensive right now there's no way and like think about it all these players have not been this expensive since the beginning of the game if you guys know what i'm talking about you do if you don't just hit me up in the comments if you don't understand i'll tell you what i'm saying it's just i just like going over the auction to see what's going on and to see that a lot of these players have quick sell value is crazy wilson Contreras went up one a lot of these players have quick sell value which is insane michael brandley also went up i don't have any of him i wish i did Corey seager went down two overalls i'm pretty sure i have i have one of him okay but let's go look at some silvers okay that's what i'm like curious about what's going on with the silvers i haven't looked at the silvers and bronzes let's go to hunter dozier because a lot of people on my channel understand how hunter dozier works and we're gonna go over to hunter dozier and he's at 98 stubs so right now the bronzes and the silvers are unbelievably cheap uh thursday hunter dozier was at 180 stubs he's at 61 stubs with the cell that is insane guys 61 stubs for 73 bronze that's gonna go gold is is it's it's crazy let's look at more silvers mark Hakis is pretty cheap we got abreu he went down in price who knows how he didn't go gold i'm actually gonna pick up probably like 500 of these just because like he's gonna go gold if i if he goes gold and i have 20 i'm gonna make 400 stubs off each that's mad stubs that is 800 8,000 stubs with the reduction let's just say 7,000 stubs made so try to pick up as many of this so let's say i pick up 20 i'll spend 12k and i'll make 7k stubs interesting stuff man good time to pick up a brave kyle hendrix also good time to pick up hendrix bro i'm gonna try to pick up as many of him word on the street is that he's gonna go gold in the next roster update if he bitches one more gem i'm pretty sure it's almost guaranteed gold 396 stubs is insane his quick sell value is going to be a thousand his a thousand quick sell think about that for one second that's crazy all these 79 silvers are this is the best time to invest in 79 silvers because think about it they're one overall away from gold okay if they're about 300 stubs or even 78s too if they're 300 stubs and they're not like they're about to go gold this is the best time to buy and let's look at josh bell so josh bell has been tearing it apart and honestly he's gonna go gold this is not a good time to invest in him all the silvers that you see for 1k just stay away from as you can see i got another jose abreu there so pretty much what i'm just telling you guys to do is pick up as many silvers and stuff as possible right now chris paddock went down a ton new paddock on my wrist went down a ton if you want to pick him up, he's going to be gold this year, but 740 stubs is too expensive for me still. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas, if you guys know any players that are good at investing in right now, just go pick him up. It's going to be worth it. And let's look. You Darvish went down. He was gold. He's silver now. He's been playing like crap. Peacock, I really think he might turn gold this year for 240 stubs. That's very interesting. I'm going to pick up like one or two. If I start seeing him doing really good, I'm going to pick up more. But honestly, what I'm looking at right now, the way to make stubs right now, Mike Mikolas is really cheap as well. He's going to be gold. What I'm thinking is that all the silvers, 78 to 79, is probably the best way to make stubs right now. Like, you can just see, like, especially all the guys that just turned silver 79. They're way too cheap, man. Like, Moustakas could be a good one as well. His edge is down. He's going to be cheap right now. But Kyle Hendricks is my top person to make stubs off right now. Once he turns gold, this is getting pretty much ready for the new roster update. Uh, we got Jose Abreu. We got uh, Nick Markakis. He's probably going to go gold. Uh, Robbie Ray is probably going to go gold. I'm going to pick up a couple of him. Pretty much all the guys that are going to turn gold right now. Like If they turn gold, you make 600 stubs a pop off Ray. Just think about that. Yadier Molina deserves gold. Miguel Cabrera is not gold anymore. Max Muncy deserves gold. Morrow deserves gold. But yeah, guys, if you understand what I'm saying, I just wanted to get this out to you guys. If you have your diamonds, I'm going to say it again. Sell your diamonds. Sell your diamonds. Go pick up silver investments. This is the best way to make stubs right now, to be honest. This is really the only thing I could tell you guys. I'm going to have the aftermath of the market 
on Monday again. We usually I have those videos. I made a ton of stubs off the market. I couldn't get a video out to you because honestly, it was risky. Like I, I didn't know how to like make stubs, but then I got I got like pretty much how I made stubs off the market was pretty much just holding on to my diamonds. I know I told most of you guys to sell onto yours, but I had diamonds that were gonna go up in overall, like Sale and Yelich. So I made like over 50k off the market. And but I'm gonna have that video. It was pretty sick. But right now I was gonna tell you guys to sell your diamonds, pick up gold, silver, and bronze. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop the sub. Your boy Bugs has been on fire. And guys, that's all I got for you. Peace. Hey, yo,